The weapon and axe. The man's target, police patrol cars, and the damage nearly the department's entire fleet. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. Kaylee O'Kelly has the night off. I'm Doug Dunbar. Tonight, a small police department is trying to figure out why a man started attacking their police cars with an axe. Police in Keene, Johnson County, caught him in the act. Jason Allen is there live tonight. And Jason, there's heavy damage to two cars, and that's a really big impact for that small department. Rakeen just has just five vehicles, and so now these two, they're not going anywhere. And Keene police saw all this happen overnight, and considering what they were facing, they say this is really the best outcome they could have hoped for. This picture from Keene police shows the heavy axe that was in the hands of a man at the police department Wednesday morning. Before it stuck in the windshield, he used it to smash windows, destroy lights, all with officers looking on. You see a guy who's beating on the cars and he has a, an object that can, click, that can kill you, absolutely they feel threatened. Police say the axe was in the hands of Jesse Cruz. Officers were familiar with the 31 year old from some minor theft calls, but nothing like this. The officer saw him coming uh, down from this direction and uh, that he was carrying an axe, and uh, he actually saw him come to the police cars and start uh, using the axe on the police cars to damage them. The crashes were loud enough employees inside the department could hear them. But after a second officer got there, police said they used their training and were able to convince Cruz to give up. The officers weren't hurt, and neither was Cruz. We could be talking about a lot of different things here today, and I'm glad we're talking about uh, damage to police cars and, and not something much, much worse. It could have been much, much worse, and I credit the officers for doing an outstanding job. As far as how all this affects a small department's ability to operate, police here told me they will be just fine. They'll just have to use their three remaining cars a bit more than they usually do. Live tonight in Keene, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.